What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now, it's been a really busy day for me today. I've filmed a tank, I've filmed two shops and I've just pulled up to my mate's fish shop now. I'm actually picking up a new fish. So he's had these two fish in the tank for a while now. Um, and I tried getting both of them off him. They've actually been sitting there for probably for about six weeks now, and I've ummed and ahed about um, this, that, and the other. And um, now I've actually got into these fish now. Um, I really want these fish, you know. So uh, I messaged him uh, in the week and said to him, look, mate, I've really want them fish off you. Um, can I come pick up um, one evening after work or whatever? And he messaged me back saying, I'm so sorry, mate, one of them sold, but you can have the other one. So I've come here today at Lee Valley Aquatics to pick up a male stingray so he's had these in the shop for a while now but they're absolutely beautiful fish let's go and check them out so in glen shop now lee valley aquatic so obviously you've seen the shop before i showed it on youtube quite a few times now but here's the rays let me show you so there's the two stingrays so it's a male and a female i'm pretty sure but i'm taking the male home today i really want to take both of them home but someone else has got the female but um oh well but they have sat here for a while now which is quite annoying but anyway at least i can take one home for me today but um it box it up in a minute. I think it's just with a customer. So once you box it up, get it home. Now I don't know whether to mix this ray with my albino ray as well, because obviously he's quite small. I don't know which one's female. I think this is the female and this is the male, but um, yeah, he's still quite small. So he might be okay to mix with the little female albino I've got at home, but I will double check with uh, Glenn to see what he thinks. But I may as well quickly show you the shop as well while I'm here. See what other stock he's got in. He always gets some new bits in. We've got some keyhole cichlids in there, these are pretty cool. Some nice silver dollars and there are some peacock bats up there as well. The lovely peacock bats. But yeah, if you haven't popped down this shop, it's, um, it's a real cool shop. And it, obviously you can order your bits in as well. You just hit these dancing bobs. But yeah, let's get these. Uh, let's get this stingray bagged up, and hopefully put in a poly box. Put it in the back of the car, um, and we can get him home. So I just got him from Lee Valley Aquatics. Um, I've got my new fish. It's in the box here. I've just put some food away, which I got from him as well. Um, but check out what I got. Actually, I like the food still in this bag here. I've got some shrimp, all these snakeheads in this bag. I'll just put down there. But check this fish out, man. absolutely beautiful male moto stingray which i'm going to be putting in this tank here with the little female so he'll be going in this tank here with the little female because he's near enough the same size as the little female obviously i'm going to keep a close eye on them um nothing's going to happen at the moment breeding wise because obviously they're babies but let's put him in the tank in the bag acclimate for 20 minutes or so go and have a cup of tea and then uh, come back out and put him in the tank So it's been about 20 minutes now, I'm desperate to get this fish in the tank. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a bucket like I normally do, um, pour the fish water into the bucket so the fish will go into a net, and then basically, really slowly, net him into the tank. So let's do that, let me get grab a quick bucket and find out there's my net up there. So yeah, let's get this done. But what I'll probably do, like I did on the last time, I'm not gonna use the net, I'm gonna use the net to get him in a little tub, and then basically scoop him in the tub because They've got tails and they've got spikes and stuff and don't want the spikes into his tail getting stuck in the net. So with a little tub, once he's in there, it's all smooth, he's not going to grab anything. And then we can pour him in the tank. So I've got this, it's my little son's uh, washing up bowl he's got in the garden. So look how easy that is. Now I've got the ray in here. So see how much easier that is? Look, there's the ray, you can see him in there. He's not going to hurt himself now. There's no net or nothing he can get himself trapped into. And then basically I can just pour him straight into the tank. So that is another ray added to my collection now. Now I've got two little babies now and a big male over here. So I've got three, ray, three stingrays all together. But um, he is literally just sitting on top of the female at the moment. But let me show you. So you can see the male and the female is just underneath him. His tail is sort of on top of her. So um, hopefully they settle down really well. They are literally the same sort of size. So I'm not worried about them uh, fighting with each other or anything like that. But obviously I still need to keep a close eye on them. 
But yeah guys, another ray added to my collection of fish, so really happy with that. But yeah, the ray collection's getting bigger, and um, I've hopefully got more coming soon once the big tank is built. But that is it for me today guys, thank you so much for watching the video as always, like and subscribe to my channel, ding notification bell and keep it real everyone.